Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. My name is Don C. Weber. I'm a certified SANS instructor. I've been asked to talk to you today about the SANS ICS 410 class, also referred to as the ICS SCADA Security Essentials. And we're just going to do a quick overview of what you're going to experience in this class as a student. So first of all, this is a list of the titles for every one of the days, six day course, six different bullet points. Uh, the first day, uh, ICS overview. Uh, this is a quick introduction to control environments, the types of uh, concepts that you'll find in there, the types of devices. And this is really helping to educate the information technology administrators, the information security professionals that don't have experience with a control environment. So we can, we need to do that on day one so we can start talking about the control concepts. We need to understand these environments before we can even start considering what we need to do to secure them. Actually on the first day, we don't talk about security until the very last part of the day. And that is talking about physical security. After that, we start moving into architectures on day two. We talk about the architectures, how these, uh, these control environments are deployed from an arch architecture standpoint. We also start talking about the field devices. We start at what we call level zero. So the devices that are actually uh, doing things, collecting information and taking action on the process. Uh, day th uh, three is our communications and protocols. We'll start talking about how those devices, uh, the devices themselves and the systems uh, pass information uh, that is over the network communications and different industrial protocols. So we will introduce everybody to the complexities of these protocols and how they're used in different environments. On day four, we will talk about supervisory systems. So we'll talk about those management servers, the applications that run on them, the uh, operating systems as well. And then we'll start to discussing the how to secure those systems and those applications uh, using various tools that are used to do that uh, within the control environments and in our corporate environments. Okay, uh, Day five, uh, actually this is only half of the day, we will talk about the ICS security governance. Okay, uh, This goes into the things like the uh, different frameworks that are used, international standards, uh, that organizations can use to begin their uh, securing their control environments to uh, help with their policies, standards, guidelines, and procedures uh, as they're moving forward to protect their control environments. And then finally, on the last day, we do a capstone event like most SANS courses, only this one's slightly different. The, our capstone is a tabletop session. In other words, all of the students will break into groups and they will be presented with a compromise of a control environment and everybody will discuss how they would approach uh, um, the different actions uh, for addressing that unique situation. It's a lot of fun and it's a great experience. Okay. Uh, all six of those days, the reason why we have six days is that we have to cover a lot of information. In order to do information security within a control environment correctly, uh, the individuals that are making those decisions need to have knowledge and skills in all of the domains that we see here. And so you can see all of the different, uh, we, we talk about architecture, assessments, system hardening, uh, uh, cybersecurity essentials, uh, and we actually talk about the control environments themselves, the devices. So we need to have knowledge of all of those domains. Okay. To do this, we were in, reinforce this information with the students by doing hands-on labs. Uh, we program PLCs, we design HMIs, we enumerate Modbus, we do network forensics. And as I mentioned on the last day, we do an incident response tabletop exercises. So these are all of the labs that each student will do uh, in class. So to help understand this and drive home at home a little bit, let's talk a, a little bit about what we would do for how we demonstrate programming a PLC, uh, programming an HMI. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to our uh, sh and share our uh, environment that we use, our virtual machine environment. So we we provide each student with a Linux and a Windows virtual machine. Uh, what I have access right here is the actual Windows uh, virtual machine that we provide to students. And this is a workbook that we have on there that outlines all of the labs. Over on the left-hand side, we see the sidebar where we see a list of the different exercises. When I click on exercise one, we can see, and we're going to review these real quick, uh, or 
we're going to go over the programming PLC and HMI real quick in just a moment. But as you can see in day two, we talk about attack surfaces, uh, pulling information, passwords, and credentials out of uh, storage components in uh, our uh, control devices. Uh, we do some network capture analysis, actually interact with devices using Modbus protocol. Uh, one of my favorite labs is Cryptography Lab. Uh, day four, we're starting to do some actual attacks uh, on some of these devices, SQL injection, password fuzzing, brute force authentication. Day five is hardening, uh, a little bit of, of that in day four for Windows. And then day five, we do Linux environment as well because we do experience those. And then finally, our, our capstone event is on day six. So just to give you an understanding of what we're talking about when we talk about uh, um, some of the hands-on exercises, the programming of PLC, uh, in this case, what we do is uh, um, we provide each student with the Velocio PLC, as we can see here. Uh, this is just a simple device, but it does, it is pretty powerful. It has digital inputs and digital outputs that we can program. All right, to program, we use the software, vendor provided software, uh, as you can see here. Uh, every student is provided with an initial pro project file on uh, the project file that you get, uh, that you start with. It does not have all of this, uh, uh, all of these uh, blocks uh, of uh, information put in there. Each student is uh, tasked with actually developing this process themselves, okay? Uh, you're actually only provided with a state machine on the left-hand side. So all of these blocks on the left-hand side, so that's how you start. And then you build out all of this functionality. We show you how to do it. Then ultimately you program the PLC and you get it to run. Once it's running, let me go back over. Once it's running, you can turn the process on and you can see our digital outputs. Um, are uh, helping us understand we're simulating driving uh, in, intake pumps, outtake pumps, uh, and mixers as a part of a process that we define. And then ultimately what happens is uh, we need an operator to have a view into that process. Uh, we do help as one of our labs, you're building an HMI. I've got a populated one, but uh, every student uh, will actually be uh, responsible for building an HMI for their process. As you can see here, I can put it in a run state um, and uh, we can see uh, that the process is running. This would be an operator's uh, view into the process. Uh, right now, it, this is uh, uh, managing or monitoring each state that the process is going through, uh, turning on uh, intake pumps uh, to uh, put chemical and then turning on a mixer to mix those chemicals together and then eventually flushing that out. Uh, we can actually do an emergency stop and flush. Uh, that will be a part of the uh, a program that you build. So that was just a quick overview of the uh, SANS ICS 410 ICS SCADA Security Essentials class. Uh, you can go uh, online. There's a link right there to, if you want to have more information or want to sign up uh, for uh, this class. Uh, we are teaching it around the world, uh, you know, in North America, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. We have... Uh, um, about a cadre of uh, between eight and uh, eight or more uh, instructors uh, that are traveling to many countries around the world to teach this class. So please join us. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us via the site. Have a great day.